Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today is Colby Cox. He is the Managing Director uh, for the Americas for DC Byte, a leading provider of global data center intelligence. Colby, welcome, friend. Hey, Buffy. How are you? Yeah, great. So good, good. to see you here in yep. Texas. Um, and I understand, well, I do know, you are the latest addition mm -hmm. to DC Byte, um, but obviously clearly not to the data center and our industry. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about yourself and your new role at DC Byte? Yeah, so uh, myself, I've been in the industry now, God, I guess it's over eight years. Uh, I was with QTS data centers for seven years in sales and then ultimately leading and running their channel program for the last couple of years I was with them. Yeah, ultimately found DC Byte, yeah, which is really a global data center intelligence platform. Yeah, ultimately working with investors, operators, suppliers, consultancies, really around helping them all understand what is really taking place in the global landscape right. around the data center market. There's a ton taking place right now. How can they get additional actionable data that's complementary to what they're doing on their own and due diligence they're doing? So growing into the Americas is a huge step for us. Uh, we've got a ton of the Americas data, LATAM, North America, already completely rounded out, working on some other things that we'll probably talk about. Yeah, but really, really excited about what we have to bring to, to the entire data center industry yeah, globally. People know us very well. Right. Yeah, so really excited to bring the brand to, to the Americas. Well, they couldn't have picked a better choice uh, than you. <laughs> Thank you. You've Hopefully we'll in, see. Yeah, you've been in the space for a long time, and uh, I'm sure you're going to be doing great things for DC Byte, which leads me to my next question. Uh, you're going to be ushering in DC Byte's debut to the United States. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about the debut and all that you have in store for that Uh role here in the U.S.? Yeah, I mean, I think first and foremost for today at the Data Cloud event, uh, we're hosting a happy hour this evening at the JW Marriott Corner. Uh, that's from 6 to 8. And then tomorrow, I'll be moderating a panel uh, around the data centers pushing closer to the edge, a little subsea cable focus, as well as working with Chris Sumter from Prime Data Centers on a 20-minute live case study. Yeah, so that's to really get it started. And then we're heading down to DCD Sao Paulo in November. Um, so we'll be kind of making the rounds at pretty much every event. Uh, I'll be back down in Austin in a couple of weeks for another event. Yeah, so trying to hit, an, hit around to everywhere we can to start talking to more and more folks about what we're doing and, and how we're going to change the landscape. And some really cool things coming that I would love to connect with people about on our roadmap for future enhancements to the platform. Well, it sounds like you have that roadmap pretty lined up already. Mm -hmm. We do. Uh, so exciting things ahead for DC Byte as they expand their presence into the United States. So you mentioned the live case study, which sounds interesting, mm -hmm. uh, with our friends at Prime Data Centers, Chris Sumter. Why don't you give us more information about that live case study and what attendees can expect from that session? Yeah, no, perfect. So it's going to be a, a fairly a bit of a sneak peek into probably a larger piece that we're going to ultimately end up doing. But really what we're going to be discussing is around how data center operators are utilizing intelligence and data to fuel where they're selecting regions, how they're selecting regions. Are they paying attention to tax incentives, to power costs, to land costs, uh, what other competitors are doing in those markets? And what are some of the things that DC Byte is seeing? Uh, and then more importantly, we really want to get Chris's perspective from Prime's standpoint on what they're bringing to the market and how they analyze and look at these various regions that they're thinking about going into uh, by utilizing data because you don't want to make a mistake when you're trying to, to do 10 to 20 year leases. You, you kind of got to get it right as right. quickly as possible. Yeah, so it'll be really unique, really fun. Yeah, I think we're going to have a good discussion. That's from 1240 to 1 o'clock tomorrow uh, in the main floor. So hopefully everybody's able to join us. If not, find Chris or myself. We'll talk more and, and look to uh, definitely see a broader piece come out after the fact. Is there any particular region that you'll be exploring in that live case study? Uh, there's a couple markets that we're talking about. Phoenix, Chicago. Yeah, some of these are markets that Prime's in, Denmark. Yeah. And then also just what, what 
is really happening in each of those markets right, right. now. The, the really the exponential growth that we're seeing across the board yeah, within the entire data center market. Yeah, I think everybody's recognized that the primary markets continue to grow, have some challenges to be to be frank about it with land power perceptions from the yeah. public. Yeah, and really those secondary and third tier markets are where we're seeing a ton of growth. Yeah, so we'll we'll dive into some of those, yeah, and then we'll dig a little bit further as we continue to move along with it. Yeah, those second and third markets are definitely exploding. Oh God, yeah, um, yeah, and so, it's interesting there too. Just sorry, I'll sidebar with that real quick, but like Phoenix as an example, right? just a, a sneak peek. I mean, Phoenix has multiples close to the four X range of potential growth coming based on what's under construction and what's happening in that market. And it's critical to understand that, but that's where the data conversation starts to come into play as well as what's the power availability and, and how is that going to continue to grow with the data center operators. So it's trying to connect the entire community. Yeah, and we're small already, but try to connect us even more with data. And we're already hearing that there's power uh, constraints in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, exciting to hear how some of this data can help project yeah. Uh, how these markets will continue to to grow and expand. Yeah. Uh, so, Kobe, thanks again so much for joining us today. Is there anything else that you wanted to add? No, I think, again, come find us today. We're at Booth 2 if you're here at Data Cloud. Yeah, if not, reach out to me, reach out to anybody yeah, on the DC Byte team. We would love to have conversations about what you're seeing, what we're seeing, and really collaborate on how we can assist with, with any of the, the goals that you need to accomplish this year. Yeah, but really more importantly, how can we start thinking about the future by utilizing the data that we have today. Well, thanks again for joining us, Colby and DC Bay at the happy hour tonight. Yep. Uh, panel tomorrow, case mm -hmm. live case study with Prime Data Centers, uh, booth two right across from us here on mm -hmm. the expo floor at Data Cloud USA. And thanks again. Thank you. Thanks viewers for tuning in. Stay connected and happy networking.